Hello, you're watching the Unipro Eugene podcast. In this video, we will tell you about changes and new features that have appeared from the 39 to 45 versions. Thanks to the user Sirkenmaker from GitHub, Eugene now speaks Turkish. Thanks to the efforts of such people, Eugene has more opportunities to expand its auditory. We have improved support for a large number of file formats including NUIC, FASTA, MSF, ClustLW, and others. Eugene now works correctly with files containing Unicode characters. Phylogenetic trees have received several updates. A new IQ tree construction algorithm has been added. It compares favorably with RaxML and PhiML in terms of plausibility at a similar computation time. And now you can customize the appearance of different parts of the built tree separately. Also, you can change the thickness and color of individual branches in the tree, the font size, turn on and off the display of internal nodes, and the curvature of the branches. We have completely updated the Primer 3 tool up to version 2.6.1. Now you can select all possible options for the most successful search for primers in the settings dialog. Also, we have added various primer search modes. The possibility of using thermodynamic models to calculate the propensity of oligonucleotides to form hairpins and dimers, and a large number of other parameters. We have added wrap mode for multiple alignments. This mode is presented in many other tools, and now we have it too. Now you can scroll long alignment like a web page from top to bottom. We also present for your attention the new GeneCut tool and its accompanying experimental plugin in Eugene. GeneCut is a web service designed for in silico experiments on gene assembly and molecular cloning, and the corresponding implementation in Eugene will provide convenient access to the calculation results. You can find detailed information about GeneCut on its website. See the link under this video. Also, we've done a lot of work to improve stability. Our team has fixed a large number of crashes and errors when working with files larger than 2 gigabytes. We have improved the auto annotation mode, speed and accuracy of charts, and fixed a bunch of errors in vertical scrolling in the Sanger Reads editor. Thank you for watching.